Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today we are on episode number 117 and today we're going to be going over the jQuery select box module. The jQuery select box module basically replaces your standard select box in Drupal with a more stylable, more themable, more CS CSSable select box. It actually replaces the select box with some HTML that you can then easily change the style to and then of course it communicates back when you click something in this new HTML structure it selects that item in the actual select list. It uses the plugin that you'll need, the select jQuery select box plugin. So you'll have to go ahead and download that. You can see the installation instructions. You need the libraries module in the sites all libraries directory you're going to need to create a directory called jQuery.selectbox and you're going to need to download the plugin from GitHub and then of course install the plugin and enable the jQuery select box module. So go ahead and follow those steps and once you're there we can go ahead and get started. But before we do, as always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com, check out the other Daily Dose of Drupal videos, and sign up for the newsletter. Today's episode is sponsored by Drupalize.me. Drupalize.me is one of the best places to learn about Drupal, so whether you're just getting started or if you've been around a while, check out their videos on Drupal. They have free videos, and if you do want to sign up, use the coupon code CK20FEB you get 20% off. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have the module downloaded and the library or the jQuery select box library dropped in as well. So I'm going to come down here and turn on the jQuery select box module. Click Save. And well before I do, I'm actually going to disable it first to show you a little bit of before and after. So I'll go ahead and I'll go to this add content and I have this select test content type with two different types of select lists, a multiple select and a single select. If we look at the HTML structure, it's pretty much what you'd expect. Just a simple select HTML element with option values. The multiple select is also very similar. Now let's go ahead and turn on the module and see what happens. Now that the module's turned on, I will come back to this page. You can see immediately it looks a little bit different. So let's take a look at the HTML structure now. You can see if I hover over this, it says it's a span. It's inside of a link. And if I click on it, you can see each one of these is just a link inside of that span. Well, it's actually it's its own list, UL with LIs, list items inside of that, and it uses a class of selected. So what you can do here, is, since it's just a normal HTML list, you can theme it or style it however you want, and it will look the way that you want it to. It, it takes away the normal restrictions on theming and styling a tr traditional select box. You can also look at the multiple select as well and see that that is also just a list. One thing to keep in mind is you'll notice that there's the select option right here and you'll see that here it says display none. It's actually being hidden and your, your selections here correspond with the selections on the actual element. So this over here that you're actually clicking on is just a copy but when you make those selections it of course makes those selections on the hidden element which is the, the traditional select box it does the same for the single select up here so that's how the select box module works it makes it easy for you to theme and style your select boxes however you want so it gets rid of a lot of the normal limitations so go ahead and give this module a try on your next Drupal website where you need to theme or style your select boxes thanks again to Drupalize.me and thank you for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. We'll see you next time.